Hello friends and welcome, and happy Halloween! This is Britt, and today we'll be doing the November setup in my bullet journal. As always, I have put links to all the materials that I'm using in the description box if you want to check anything out. To avoid having an exorbitant amount of footage, I put in these black pieces of paper into my journal before I started filming. It's just black cardstock paper that you can get anywhere. You could use construction paper, it's nothing fancy. And I put it in different shapes on each spread, as you will see. I really wanted to do something really graphic this month, and I really like just black and white together sometimes. You get that nice, really, really high contrast. And you can do, you know, you can do whatever you want with it, but I wanted to do kind of a more doodly looking design this month. Now, if you want to do something similar to this, do not do what I did on this calendar. I was only concerned with the aesthetic when I did this. And I put the, the seam between the two colors of paper right in the middle of Wednesday. So pretty much can't write anything on Wednesdays on this calendar. But I didn't really pay attention to that. So uh, don't do as I did. As you may know from watching some of my other videos, I have a love-hate relationship with gel pens, but I gave these jelly roll pens a second try and they're actually doing a pretty good job here, so um, I guess I was a little hasty in my judgment. So my concept here was a different simple design on each spread, but for them to all be fall related. So on this first uh, title spread, I decided to do oak leaves and acorns. So that's what I'm going in for right here. And I tried to space them out evenly across the page, and then I'll keep filling in the space with smaller and smaller things. It is a pretty busy look, but you know, sometimes I like that. And this is very easy to do because there's this is a very simplified kind of graphic design so it's pretty easy to do for anybody you don't need to do any shading or anything like that you can just uh, copy the same pattern over and over again and it does take a really long time but it's kind of meditative to do today is the last day of inktober for this year so if you haven't already checked it out you can see all the art that i've made for Inktober on my visual art Instagram account or on shorts here on YouTube. I will put the playlist in the description box. And next week I will have a long form video of a sketchbook tour of my Inktober sketchbook, which is new content that I've never made before. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I have not developed a personal art style thus far, so that sketchbook looks like 30 different people drew in it. So that might be interesting. I don't know. Getting back to this beauty right here, we are putting all the little acorns in. And to make an acorn, all you need to do is make a pointy oval and then slap another oval on the back of it and you have an acorn shape. So anybody can do this one. Since it's Halloween, and I love Halloween, although I'm not doing any dressing up this year. Let me know in the comments if you did dress up this year. Uh, what did you dress up as? I'd love to know. Sometimes I uh, do get carried away with the details. Uh, <laughs> as you're working on something, sometimes you just want to keep adding more and more and more to it. So. As I would often do, I just had to fill in the blank space with a whole bunch of circles for no reason. I just like the way it looks. No real reason other than that. And that's the cover spread finished. And we'll now move on to the weeks of October. There are four full weeks, pretty much, in October. 
So I have two spreads with two weeks each on them. And I'm doing that same seven box layout that I like to do. I find that that gives me the best amount of space how I like to do it. But you could do these weeks any way you want. You could have them all vertically. You could have them, you can do one week on each full spread if you like to have more space and you have more appointments and things than I have that you want to put in here. So there's really any way that you could arrange this. This is just the way that I find works the best for me because I don't use my planner that much. So I don't need a huge amount of space here. I could not resist drawing more pumpkins. I know I've already done a pumpkin spread and uh, spoiler alert, there's also going to be a mushroom spread and I don't even know how many spreads I've put mushrooms on. So sorry for the repetition, but I, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. I just wanted to take the opportunity with this kind of weird shape of space here to make every kind of wonky size and shape of pumpkin. I just love that. And I did see somebody on Instagram do something kind of similar to this, but unfortunately I can't remember who it was. But they were doing it with paint and they were coloring, uh, doing the blobs of paint first and then drawing over it with pen to do the outlines of a whole bunch of different sizes and shapes of pumpkins. Ooh, this one is my favorite. Tall, skinny guy. Guys, let me tell you, I am in my element now because it finally got cold here in Northern California where I live and we might even have a rain this week. So I am so happy. I'm all cozied up in my sweatshirt and my sweatpants and I'm having a great time. So I am not a heat person. Summer does not do it for me. So I am coming into the best time of the year for me. I'm a hibernation person. I like to rot, so this is what I love. Ooh, this is another weird shaped pumpkin that I really like too. Don't you love how I'm just talking about how I like what I'm doing? <laughs> when I'm actually doing it, I, I'm not paying attention to everything that I'm doing. So when I do the voiceover, I actually kind of get to watch what's going on more. And for some reason, I I just wasn't feeling spooky season this year. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if it's everything terrible that's going on in the world right now or what, but I just didn't watch any horror movies. I didn't really read any horror books, which is very unusual for me. But let me know if you guys watched any good horror movies or read any good horror books. Maybe I just need some good recommendations to get back into the genre. Now on the second two week spread, I'm doing something similar to Snowberry, I guess. In my mind, November is kind of like a combination of winter and uh, autumn, I guess. Well, for the Northern Hemisphere, it is. So I was thinking of all those kind of wintry scenes where you see the snow and then you have some plant that has all those little red berries on it. So I looked up Snowberry, which kind of looks like that. And this is a very loose interpretation of that plant. So I'm just doing a couple of bigger sprigs in each of these corners here. And here I'm going to start putting some dots on these guys. And then when I only put dots for the ends, uh, I thought they looked too much like boobs. So then I made the little stars instead to make it more reminiscent of berries. And if you watch some of my previous videos, you might be saying to yourself, uh, this is really chatty. Uh, this is a lot more talking than I normally do. Well, I was getting bored of doing voiceover, and so I decided I was just gonna talk to make it more interesting for myself. So hopefully that doesn't put you guys off too much. Uh, if you don't want to listen to me talk, you can always mute the video, and uh, that's fine. I won't be offended. 
And as I finish up these larger sections, I'm moving on to adding single leaves and then little sprigs of berries around the page to fill in the space. And after I do that, I will come back and put more dots into the space that's left after that. And this time I'm using dots instead of little circles, so it's different than the first one. We can move on to the last spread, which is where I'm going to put space for my tasks and my notes for the month. And at this point, I did all this in the same day, so uh, I'm getting pretty sick of drawing a thousand little things at this point. I, I did this to myself, and this was like the worst choice for the last page because there's a lot of there's a lot more extra margin space that I need to fill in in this spread than in the weekly ones. So I thought, uh, you know, I, I got to add mushrooms. I always put mushrooms on everything. So I started drawing all these mushrooms. I did not plan out the space where I was going to put them like I did with the pumpkins because I was just trying to get done as fast as I could at this point. So I'm just filling in wherever there's negative space with whatever shape mushroom I can fit in there. I'm not concerning myself with any type of species or anything here. This is just completely doodles. So there's, this is not biologically accurate in any way, like my first mushroom spread was. And this one definitely took longer than every other spread that I did. So uh, yeah, and leaving that for last was probably not the best thing I could do for myself but I didn't know that until I got there. However, mushrooms are a great choice if you have a weird shaped space that you need to fill in in some kind of spread because they kind of do come in every shape and size that you can think of in reality. So you can really make them fit to whatever the space is that you have that you need to fill. And here is proof that I learned from my mistakes from the first spread. And I didn't want to have to write over two different sections, two different textures of paper here. So I'm pasting in some rectangles and this will be where I will write the tasks and the notes for the month. So I don't have that same problem as I had with the calendar. And to finish things off, I'm going to use that same bubbled font that I used on the title to just write notes on one side and tasks on the other side. And that pretty much wraps things up for my November bullet journal spreads. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this different kind of voiceover. Let me know if you did. As I have mentioned before, we're getting into the busiest YouTube season for me right now. So in the next couple weeks, I will be putting out, as I mentioned, a tour of my Inktober sketchbook. Then we'll have the December reading journal set up and then the December bullet journal set up. And then after that, we'll have all the yearly stuff like setting up the new journals and flipping through the 2024 journals. So I hope you'll join me for those. As always, I hope you find a little bit of time in your life to do something creative or just anything that you enjoy. Take some time for yourself. Go easy on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Drink your water and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.